Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. eMotion LV1 has 16 aux channels. Channels and groups can be sent to auxes for monitoring and processing. There are three different views of the aux channels. These are the three aux modes. The eight channels in the aux monitor mode are used primarily to create specific monitor sends for onstage artists and other destinations. They patch directly to any available I.O. or to the matrix. This is a familiar aux send function found on most mixing desks. Aux effects channels are designed to provide effects processing. They can be returned directly to the main mix without an additional return channel. They can also be sent to aux monitor channels. This enables you to, among other things, send several channels and groups to an aux effects channel for processing, and then send that signal to one or more of the aux monitor channels. This is more efficient and flexible than repeating the same processing on each monitor channel. The All Aux mode lets you control the Aux effects and Aux monitor modes at the same time. This provides an overview of all the Aux sends. To adjust an Aux send from a channel or group, select one of the Aux layer modes. Aux channel names are shown in the Subviews panel on the left side of the Layer Mode section. You can change the name of an Aux channel in the Aux layer or in the Patch window. Turn an Aux on or off by clicking its cell. Select the source for each send. Control plus click on a cell to toggle through its source options. The color of the small fader bar indicates the aux source. Input is green. Before all processing, after input gain. Pre-fader is purple. Pre-fader, after processing. Post-fader is orange. Post-fader, after processing. And post-panner is blue. Post-fader, post-panner, after processing. Adjust the aux level using the small horizontal fader. Fader value appears in the cell when the fader is touched. For more convenient control of aux send levels, you can use the sends on faders function. In this mode, the channel faders control the level of the aux sends, not the channel level. In the subview section on the left, click the name of the aux whose sends you wish to adjust. The mixer interface changes color and send level is shown next to the channel strip faders to show that they have flipped their functions. When using sends on faders, the channel strip fader controls the level of the selected send. And the channel strip imager controls the send's panning and rotation. Select another send or another fader to control a different aux. This will remap the faders to the new aux sends. The master fader now maps the aux channel output. The aux bus name appears above the fader. To return to normal faders, click on the aux send name, either on the left side of the panel or above the master fader. Aux channels themselves are controlled from the aux mixer layer. Each aux monitor or aux effects channel can have up to eight plugins for processing. A plugin is controlled from its plugin pane, which is in the channel window. Select an aux channel and click on the channel tab to open its channel controls. This window provides complete control of an aux channel input, processing, and output. To see a list of all the channels and groups that are sending to an aux channel, open the input list on the left panel. Channel processing for any aux can be returned directly to the main mix, 
there is no need for an effects return channel. Learn more about using the channel window to control auxes in Lesson 3.6. Click on the Mixer tab to return to the aux layer. You can copy aux settings from a main mix or an aux mix bus and then apply these settings to the selected aux channel. This is useful when, for example, you want to copy the aux send settings of one musician's monitor feed and use them for the monitor mix of other artists. You can also copy the main mix to an aux channel to provide a full mix for an artist monitor. Copy Mix From copies these parameters from an aux. Send Level, Send Source, Imager, and Send On Off. This is not the same as copying and pasting a channel preset, which can change all copied settings for a channel. In this lesson, you learned how to send channels and groups to monitor auxes. You also learned how to use an aux effects channel to send an aux mix to a monitor aux for more efficient and flexible monitor feeds. Aux channels can be processed just like any other channel. And aux send faders can be controlled with the large channel faders to make things easier. In the next video, we'll learn about the route and channel modes. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.